Okay. So, when you're first pulling the bassoon, the first thing you want to grab is your seat strap. And this part just goes over kind of the front part of your seat and just hangs down the side a little bit. And you sit right on it. And then you also are going to want to put your reed in a little cup of water to soak it while you're putting your instrument together. So the first part of your instrument is your boot joint, which is the very bottom. It's the part that goes inside your little cup thing. And you always want to hold your bassoon from the bottom so then the top pieces don't like fly off. Um, the second piece you're going to want to grab is the wing joint. And it has this little carved out part on the inside, which goes like towards, faces towards the middle of your instrument. And you're going to want to make sure when you line it up that you line this key with this red part right here up over this little part so then when you play it, it will lift it up like so. And then the third piece is your long joint. And this will just wiggle right into there. It only fits in one direction. And you just want to make sure that the part with no keys is facing towards the little carved out part of your wing joint. And now, you can set this carefully on the bottom, holding your um, boot joint. And then you're going to grab your bell joint. And you're going to want, with your thumb or some finger, you're going to want to hold this up so when you're putting it down, it doesn't like scratch off the felt or padding down there. And you want to wiggle it on there. And you want to line it up with this key that's right here, the part you're holding open. All right. And then the last part is your vocal, which is this little thing. And you always wanna hold it from this top curvy part, not from the end so it doesn't break. And you're just gonna to want to wiggle it in the top of your wing joint very nicely, not using too much force. And then you're going to want to touch your thumb whisper key thing right here to make sure that this little key right here covers the hole in your vocal when you play. And it does. Just seems... All right, so you're going to want to grab your instrument by the boot bottom part, and you're going to want to carefully put it into your seat strap and then you just want to adjust it so it goes right across your body so you're not like leaning on either side and sit all the way in the back of your seat feet flat on the floor and you're going to want to make sure that when you bring the vocal to your mouth it goes straight to your mouth you don't have to like move your head any which way so then you're going to grab your reed And put it right on your vocal. And there you got it. Alright. So now, the first notes we learned are C. to make it seem like you're sucking a straw but you don't want to like clamp down really hard so kind of like a mm -hmm kind of look 
like you're trying to suck all this stuff like out of the smoothie kind of thing. Okay. So this is number one. And then buy the boot again, uh, pick it up out of your cup, and just set it very gently right on the floor. And then you want to take your vocal out and just uh, disassemble it in the opposite order. So make sure you grab it by this, the top of it, and just wiggle it right out. Put it in your case very carefully. If you can get it in there. There we go. <coughs> And then you take your bell piece, and again, you just hold it with your thumbs and then scrape, pull that out, put it right back in. And then you take your long joint, wiggle that out, and set it in your case. And then you can take your wing joint, and your wing joint and the boot joint are the two ones that you swap out. So, I don't really think it matters the order, so you can just set one in your case while you're swabbing out the other. And you want to go for the wing one, you want to start at the bottom of it so you don't damage your key right here. So you turn it upside down, make sure you don't slam it on your lap. And just put it right through. And then just carefully pull it through, making sure not to get it caught. All right, that one's swapped out. Ooh. I did forget before you put your vocal away. You want to blow the water out of it. I forgot about that. So just take it, blow the water out. Make sure there's no water in there. Spit, whatever. Sorry about that. And 
then it's the boot joint. Your water only really gets into the smaller holes, so you want to hold it to the side. Jump all the water you can out of the small hole first. And then you will take your swab and put it down the big hole. And once it's kind of in the bottom, you just want to wiggle it. Make sure it comes up the other side. And then you can just pull it straight through, like so, and you can put it away. And then you take your seat strap and you just put it strap carefully into your boot. Put that in your case, put your reed away. And that's it.